G'day, I'm Simon, and this is Ace, the Sugar Glider. And you're entering wild territory. Ace here is a sugar glider, or more specifically, the northern savanna glider, which is the northern subspecies of the sugar glider. Anywhere you've got nice big gum trees with hollows in them, you're probably going to get sugar gliders. Sugar gliders are fairly communal creatures. That means that they live in small family groups. Sometimes when they sleep in a hollow, you'll get up to half a dozen animals all sleeping in together. As you can see by Ace's big round eyes, he's a nocturnal creature. That means he only comes out during the night. Through the day, he sleeps in the safety of the hollow in the gum tree. While Ace here looks pretty cute and cuddly, he doesn't just eat plant materials. He loves to eat insects as well and might even eat bird's eggs. Other than that though, he likes to eat fruit, grass seeds, and also nectar and sap from trees. Sugar gliders are part of the possum family. Their much larger cousin, the brush-tailed possum, though, is a potential threat to these guys. The brush-tailed possum might actually eat them. They're so small. In their natural habitat, sugar gliders need to keep their wits about them. Their main predators out in the wild are owls, which are also active at night time. As their name suggests, sugar gliders are gliders, which means they can't actually fly. He's got a flap of skin that runs from his wrists to his ankles, and when he spreads out his arms, he can glide from tree to tree. At the Territory Wildlife Park, we have a colony of these in our nocturnal house. At the moment, there's seven animals in there. If you see a sugar glider out through the day, there's probably something wrong with it. Don't just pick it up with your hands because it'll be very scared and it will scratch and bite. Grab a towel or maybe a t-shirt and bundle that little creature up so that he feels safe. If you do see an injured sugar glider and you don't know who to call, just call the Territory Wildlife Park and we'll help you out. Our sugar gliders here in the top end are under threat. They are the perfect prey size for feral cats. So make sure you keep your cats inside at any time so that they're not out eating native wildlife. Wildfires potentially affect these guys too. If we burn too much, it burns the hollow trees that these guys depend on to sleep through the day. Sugar gliders are pretty groovy little critters. They are a small animal though. They're very important for our bush. We all need to protect them together. It's time to get Ace back to the trees. And like him, I'm gone. Catch you later. Ah!